Okay, let's talk renovation plans. We have asked five designers on Fiverr to come up with ideas for the new staircase up to the balcony that we're going to use. We've told them it should be a wall-to-wall -wall staircase covered in the same tiles as the floor and have built-in storage. We show them these three images for inspiration. Besides that, we just said, have fun with it, be creative. We don't mind weird ideas. And this is what they came up with. All right, our first design gets major points for originality. We never expected anything even close to this when we sent off our request. It's like a living thing almost. There's so much going on, like something out of a Studio Ghibli movie. And this amount of quirk made both David and I smile big time. The design doesn't follow the guidelines at all. It's not wall to wall. I don't know how well it actually functions as a staircase and it's completely rogue, but we did say have fun and it seems like they did. I love how thorough they've been with finding furniture that's so similar to ours, even outside on the balcony. Also, they're the only designer who created a video, so bonus points for that. All in all, this fiber person really put some effort in, but it's nowhere near the design that we want, so let's move on. Now we're definitely getting closer. This design is wall to wall, has hidden storage, and the stairs are completely covered in the terrazzo tiles like we wanted. We're not fans of the rails around the staircase though, and it looks like some of the shelves have a, like a blue plexiglass cover, which is a fun idea, but definitely not for us. But wait, what's there? Right there on the left. A cat, eh? I wonder if David maybe bribed this designer to add a cat to try to nudge me over the edge and go down to the animal shelter. One day, I'm sure I will, but today is not that day. Love the wonky seat cushion thing, by the way. It's really quirky and I'm kind of curious now how it will feel to sit on. I would love to give a big, big thank you to Fetzak for sponsoring me today. Fetzak is a German and South African interior design brand that makes the hottest sustainable sofas and beanbags. If you ask me, the coolest thing about Fetzak is their modular sofas. And listen to this. When you go onto their website, there are a whole bunch of different configurations to choose from, but you can also create your very own sofa by using their configurator tool. You can choose which fabric you want to use. They have so many vegan materials to choose from, like velour, velvet, linen, etc. And you can choose which color you want your sofa to be and how big and deep you want it. And finally, in what way you want the pieces to connect to create the perfect sofa for your specific space. And whether you want it to be suitable as outdoor furniture too. They also have accessories like pillows in different shapes and sizes so that you can match your decor to the fabric of your sofa. David and I went with a smaller two-seater, which you can actually also have outside if you change the cover to an outdoor cover, since it's part of their outdoor collection. We decided on this design because we find it the perfect size and material for an extra cozy corner in our home. Imagine the Game of Thrones nights we will have this autumn with pots and pots of tea and plenty of granola. For our sofa, we went with a velvet fabric in a caramel color. It fits so well with our home and has a slightly warmer tone than some of our other pieces. It has plenty of space for both of us and you can sort of lay down in it because it's so deep. Again, imagine our future Game of Thrones nights. <sighs> Can't wait. We're also thinking of getting a second fabric as well, maybe an outdoor one, because you can just take the cover off so easily and replace it yourself. The covers are machine washable, so no need to run to the dry cleaners with this one. Oh, and get this, all components of the sofa are 100% recyclable. Now, how cool is that? If you want to get your hands on your very own Fetzak sofa or beanbag, go down to the description and click the link and check out the full range of Fetzak designs. They also have free shipping within the EU, a 30-day risk-free trial, and a five-year warranty. Now that is a good deal. So thank you so much to Fetzak and let's get back to the video. All right, next design, let's start with the stairs. Don't they have an interesting shape? It looks really cool. I'm just thinking that this would probably make me trip like three times per day. Again, there is ample space for storage and seating and to place your nice decor pieces, but it's not covered in terrazzo and the shelves are all open, which makes it impossible to use as actual storage. It's cute though, isn't it? I love how much time this designer has spent on choosing decor pieces for the shelves. I definitely appreciate the details, especially the very funky floating books right there on the left. Where can I get them? But dear fiber person, I have to ask, how many cacti does a person really need? Let's move on. Now we're talking. This looks so much more like something we had in mind. 
simple, minimalist, symmetrical, lots of storage and covering the space wall to wall. And can you see how nice the staircase looks in the terrazzo tiles? Imagine having the whole floor in this tile is going to be so cohesive with the staircase also covered in it. Now the only thing we're not feeling is the wood covering the drawers. If the whole thing was just a great terrazzo, so the staircase melts into the shelves and then the shelves melts into the floor, <laughs> can you imagine the luxe factor? Can't wait to see it in real life. Final design, are you ready? Drum roll please. Wow. Do you see the same thing I see? You do, right? This is like living in the Simpsons. I love it. These colors are giving me major like late 90s Microsoft Paint vibes. So nostalgic. There's something so satisfying to look at with these images. It's like the Sims or something. Bonus points for the two identical shelves with identical decor. I've never seen a real home with two identically decorated shelves like this, but I feel like we should maybe make it a thing. Why not? It's quirky, it's fun. It's not maybe super reasonable, but who cares? Also, anyone know where I can buy one of those black pyramid clocks? Epic. I'm not sure I want to live in a green and purple Simpson style home though. So for me, design number four is definitely my favorite. What about you? Are you feeling any of these? Or maybe do you have any ideas of your own to share about the staircase? It seems like the hardest thing to solve is how to have storage or drawers underneath when the porcelain terrazzo tiles are so heavy. Any ideas for this would be so appreciated. Can't wait to hear what you think of the staircase idea in general. Are you a fan? I think it will elevate the whole room and be such a showstopper feature. Talk to me in the comments. Oh, and don't forget, my debut novel, OK Days, is available to pre-order now. Links in the description. Give me a thumb and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thank you so much to Fetzak and to you guys for hanging out today and for all your advice throughout this renovation thing. Seriously, it's been super appreciated. See you soon. Peace, peace.